All right, in this video, we're going to find the value of the six trigonometric functions for angle theta in standard position of a point with coordinate 3, comma, negative 3. Again, another standard problem in most, uh, most geometry texts, or most pre-calc texts. So what we'll do in this case is go ahead and graph, um, graph this on an xy plane. And uh, so here's a little graph paper. And I'll put in my x and y, there's my y-axis, here's my x-axis, and then 3, negative 3, I'll graph that point. So right 3, 1, 2, 3, down 3, 1, 2, 3, would be right here. So here's our ray to 3, 3. There's our terminal ray. And so I'll go ahead and complete this. So we're in quadrant 4. And here's my right triangle. You remember, you always make your reference angle with the x-axis. And uh, I'll fill in the components of the side. So my x component is positive 3, because you go right 3. y component is negative 3. And now we just need to find the radius, r here. And so to find that, you just use Pythagorean theorem. So 3 squared plus a negative 3 squared equals r squared. Well, that's 9 plus 9. And again, if you know your math, you know that the answer is going to be 3 root 2. But um, if you have some of that fancy stuff memorized. But Pythagorean theorem works great. So 9 plus 9 is 18. So we know r squared equals 18. Uh, you would root that to find r. And so r is plus or minus, in this case, positive, because it's a radius, and radius, the radius of a circle is positive. Root 18 breaks into 9 and 2, 3 and 3. There's your pair. So we know it's 3 root 2. So that is my radius, 3 root 2. All right, so now we're ready to find the six uh, trig identities with that. And so I'll just get this so we can just see the, see the triangle, and uh, we'll start. So we know sine theta in this would be, if you think of SOHCAHTOA again, S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. -H -O so sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta would be opposites negative 3, hypotenuse is 3 root 2. So negative 3 over 3 root 2. Now, um, we want to simplify this. Well, the 3s would cross out, so we really have negative 1 over root 2. And we also don't want a radical in the denominator. So I'll multiply, I'll rationalize that denominator. And so I know sine of theta is negative root 2 over 2. And I'm sorry if I... Uh, went too fast on that. You might look up rationalize, rationalizing uh, denominators uh, if you miss, missed what I just did there. Cosine theta, again, would be very similar. It's adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, here's adjacent. And hypotenuse, again, is 3 root 2. So similarly, <clears throat> cosine theta would be 3 over 3 root 2 which again, that simplifies us to 1 over root 2. Again, you can rationalize that denominator by multiplying by root 2 over root 2, which is root 2 over 2, positive. Then tangent theta is uh, opposite over adjacent, which would be three, uh, negative 3 over 3, which simplifies to negative 1. <clears throat> excuse, my, excuse me. Um, Cotangent is the reciprocal of, uh, or not the reciprocal, the, uh, yeah, the reciprocal of tangent, which would be 3 over negative 3, which would still be negative 1. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine, which uh, was 3 root 2, and I'll just stick that up here so we can, that should be a 2, 3 root 2 over 3, uh, which is root 2 if you simplify out the threes. And then cosecant, <coughs> excuse 
excuse me, cosecant theta is uh, similarly the reciprocal of sine, which is negative 3 uh, root 2 over 3, which again simplifies to negative root 2 if the 3's cancel out. And so those are your six trig functions from the point 3, negative 3, where theta is in the standard position of that coordinate. So I hope this helps. Again, it's another kind of standard problem uh, that we do in uh, pre-calc. And uh, again, this is just to mainly for my students so that they can practice this type of stuff. And uh, hopefully it helps you guys too. Have a good one and see you next time.